tap in with the guys. BWO. BWO. Peace, family. 19 Keys tapping in. The Dangerous Conversations, High Level Observation, and the Black Guy Cypher. I'm here with my two good brothers, my business partner, Blue Pill 44, and then my brother, Lashir Music. We're about to tap in and have just a black guy conversation about what's going on in the world, and y'all get to hear from the intellect of some black minds that think dangerously. So what are we talking about today? In addition to the wealth standard, we need to establish the wealth care standard. And the wealth care standard is gonna focus on combining health as a standard for wealth. At a time when our people are in peril and facing a possible food shortage as a result of constrictions and contractions of US governments and global economies for that matter, we need to step forward and say, we're willing to seize the opportunity because not only do we see food as a vital resource of our people, but the land in which that food grows is actually how we can tap back into our wealth. So we're calling on the family out there in the black world order. So once you get this information, like the brother said, once you get access to finances, how are you gonna divert those funds to create wealth for your family, to create something lasting for your family? It's cool to have physical assets, it's cool to have digital assets, but when you can say that I'm able to feed my family and go back to the aspect of agriculture for which our people original we have, we have we are the original agriculturists then there's nothing that you would no longer be dependent on a system for yeah i mean one of my goals this year is to own 100 acres you understand me that's where i'm starting off at and then after that you understand me i'm a diversify go to a different country and get some but i want to master it here first, yes. right i want the i want the i want the easy sharp book you understand me <laughs> i want the tesla truck on the land i want the family building with the farming because the way I look at politics, you know, I be looking at everything, high level observation, and yes. then I find myself disappointed on how we can turn states blue, but we can't turn them green. Uh -huh. You understand me? That we got food deserts, but we don't allocate our time, resource, energy, and capital into making sure that our people have access to nutrient available foods because yes. we know that that's a direct correlation with the crimes in the community, right? We know that that's a direct correlation with the pipeline in prison. We know that's a direct correlation with the health and the pre existing conditions that exist. So you would think that there would be a large concerted effort of our people, especially those who have range, who have power, who have resource, um, to say, you know what, if we can turn it blue, let's turn it green. Let's, right. let's not just look at a food debt yeah. into a food forest. Exactly. Let's not just look at the problems, but let's commit to the solutions. Right. You understand me? Now, people are incentivized when it comes to green. They can only identify one aspect of green. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the type of thing yeah. they brush up and roll up and smoke. Right, and they're identifying that as saying, okay, that's gonna be the new wealth standard. But there's no conversation that's focused around food, right, and nutrition. So, they're again, not thinking nation building. They're not thinking nation building. It's food, clothing, and shelters. You can't eat that thing that you're smoking, right? right? That is not essential, that comes after, that's recreational. So we need to put food in the forefront to say, listen, let's utilize this opportunity to seize land, put seeds in the ground, monetize those particular seeds, seafood as a commodity. Mm. And, and, and then understand that shit. The best place to put your money in is in real estate. Well, one of the places, right? Just because cash is so trash that right. you don't want to have your money just losing its value, right? So you'll be putting into things like gold. You'll be putting into things like land, right? Buying as much as you can if you have um, some liquidity that you can go and directly spend some paper on. You understand me? That's what the rich are trying to do right now. They're trying to buy as much land as possible. The poor don't realize that there won't be no space for them to stand and sit and you property on somebody else's land, right? The goal is to no longer lease. The goal is to control, not even just to own, right? We wanna have rulership domain. We wanna have these things set up under our trust. We wanna have our family understand exactly how to keep our assets out of probate court, right? To where they not fighting over it when we gone, but we solidified all of that because we handled our business. You know what I'm talking about? Right. Like, so for right. me, land is everything. That's sure. my goal. If 2021 represents a mind state shift, there's so many people in the network that say, oh, my family got 100 acres of my land, right? 100 acres of land in our family, so why are you not growing? Right. 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 Why is putting food in the ground? Well, know, shit, let's give them some game, man. Listen, different things you can do. Yes. Number one, you can sell the seeds. You understand me? Yes. You can create your own goddamn paintball 
a, a, a place if you want to on top of your land. You can create a, a horse stables and you can make money by having people, you understand me, have their horses on your land. You can take some of the water, bottle it, filter it, create your own, you understand me, water bottle company. If you got lumberjack on your, you have a lumberjack company. Like, you, you, you can, can take some four wheelers. Like, come on now. Preserves on your land and get funding from, you know, the government. They'll give you subsidies and kickbacks. Yeah. And, and all sorts of tax benefits, you know what I'm saying, for making your land a preserve. You understand? You can do a lot of things with that land, but the most powerful things that you can do right now Brilliant. is you can feed your people and we can make a run on the agricultural system because when we talk about wealth, we need to focus on institutions. What institutions can we take over at this particular time that are vital to our existence that are in line with our DNA in terms of our ancestry, mm -hmm. but are also necessary if melanated people have pre-existing conditions, why are we not going to war against pre-existing conditions? Right. right. Right? And the way that you attack what's attacking our people is that you make sure that you prioritize health and you prioritize nutrition. And the only way to do that is to put that in our hands. Absolutely. Yeah. And not filter it through capitalism. Filter it through better, right? And by that, I mean that, yes, you can take the information, right? Now that you have land, you have assets, as a black man or woman, you've done what you're supposed to do to have a diversified portfolio to build wealth. Once you do that, now you have to look, all right, how is this going to benefit our people? Once you get control over that, you have say-so over what goes into the community and what doesn't go into the community. The churches, the Krispy Kreme, can no longer go there because we own the real estate, right? Now we start to replace those with better food options so that our people can make sure that they're being served things that's actually going to feed their existence, feed their soul, and feed them energy in the right place. You can't even give us options to feed junk, to get junk food. Make it cost more for them to go hours out their way in order to go get some death, right? But we're going to make it very easy to where you have right there in your proximity things that are nutrient-based, things that are mineral-based, things that have vitamins, things that are good for your life. So when we talk about not just owning things, but controlling them for betterment of our people, destroying the options that destroy our people, right? And now allowing them to have a better existence because the environment is stronger than nature. So we know that our people will be under the influence of the environment. So why not change the influence in the environment? Hence the fact that in our neighborhoods, they will call right essential stores convenience stores because they make it very convenient for our people to get poisoned. Absolutely. Because it's a proximity issue. But if you take that particular poison and you make it that much more further and you put health next to them, then the convenience will automatically right. be health and nutrition. Yeah, I mean, you got a Whole Foods and a Trader Joe's. That's where I'm going rather than, you know, Alibaba right there on the corner. You understand me? And that's another thing. The Yemen society, the Arabs, the Asian, the Koreans, yes. historically have been in our community feeding us death and poison. They're not our friends if you're doing that, right? Now, our people have to have this audacity. I like my bro Zeke out of Detroit where they be going out there with New Era Detroit. Detroit. I love yes. what they do. They got an issue, they shut something down. You understand me? We got an issue. It's right. time to shut shit down. You understand me? And if we do it in a strategic manner, then we can control every single thing. But the goal is to be strategic. Don't just get to one step to be like, I want to protest in a sense of activism. No, have a full point plan to where when this is done, then we move to the second part. Then we move to the third part. Already secure the funding so that you can control and own the things when you activate the presence and awareness behind your agenda, right? So it's really just like, okay, good. We got great examples. We have some good experience, but now it's time for us to be systematic in our thinking. Go to blackworldorder.com become an official member, y'all. Peace.